What if we poured all of Earth's water on the sun? Pouring all of Earth's water onto the sun might sound like a way to cool it down or even extinguish it, but in reality, the result would be the complete opposite, an immense, violent explosion rather than any form of suppression. Understanding the scale of the sun and Earth's water to grasp what would happen, we need to compare the sizes of the sun and the amount of water on Earth. The sun is about 1.3 million times the volume of Earth, and it contains 99.8% of the mass in the solar system. Meanwhile, Earth's water, about 1.386 billion cubic kilometers, 332.5 million cubic miles, only makes up a tiny fraction of Earth's total mass. Compared to the sun, this is an insignificant amount. Now, let's analyze what would happen if we could somehow take all of Earth's water and dump it onto the sun. Water is not a fire extinguisher for the sun. People often think of water as something that puts out fires, but that only applies to chemical combustion, like a burning piece of wood or gasoline. The sun isn't burning in the traditional sense. Instead, it is powered by nuclear fusion, where hydrogen atoms fuse to form helium, releasing enormous amounts of energy. Water, HO, contains hydrogen, which is actually fuel for the sun, not something that would extinguish it. A massive steam explosion. If Earth's water were suddenly dumped onto the sun, it would immediately be broken down into hydrogen and oxygen due to the sun's extreme heat about 15 million degrees Celsius at its core and 5,500 degrees Celsius on its surface. The hydrogen would further fuel the sun's fusion process, while the oxygen would rapidly combine with other elements, releasing even more energy. The result would be a colossal explosion, a massive release of energy, far greater than what normally occurs on the sun's surface. The sun already experiences powerful solar flares, which can be millions of times more powerful than nuclear bombs. Adding all of Earth's water in one go would likely trigger an unimaginable burst of energy, causing an enormous solar flare or even a series of explosions. Increased solar activity and disastrous consequences for Earth A sudden increase in fusion reactions due to the extra hydrogen could temporarily make the sun burn hotter and brighter, potentially increasing its radiation output. This could lead to intensified solar storms, sending powerful waves of charged particles toward Earth. If strong enough, these solar storms could disrupt satellites and GPS systems, knock out electrical grids, causing widespread blackouts, increase radiation exposure for astronauts and airline passengers, damage Earth's atmosphere, potentially affecting climate patterns. However, given the sun's immense size, this effect would likely be temporary, and the sun would eventually return to its normal state. Would the sun grow bigger? While adding Earth's water would briefly increase the amount of hydrogen available for fusion, it wouldn't make a significant difference in the long run. The Sun already contains an estimated 1.85 x 10 to the power of 30 kg of hydrogen, while all of Earth's water is only about 1.4 x 10 to the power of 21 kg, an incredibly small fraction of the Sun's total mass. So, while it might cause a temporary burst in activity, it wouldn't be enough to change the sun's life cycle or turn it into a significantly larger or more powerful star. A futile and catastrophic idea. In conclusion, pouring all of Earth's water onto the sun wouldn't extinguish it. Instead, it would create a massive explosion due to the rapid breakdown of water into hydrogen and oxygen, fueling even more nuclear fusion. While it wouldn't permanently alter the sun, it could result in solar storms that might wreak havoc on Earth's technology and climate. Ultimately,